Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri. He was born in 1898 in Baghdad. He was a Sephardic Orthodox rabbi and Jewish mystic. As a Torah prodigy, Kaduri began his studies in Jewish mysticism while still in his teens, and he studied under the famous rabbi Yosef Chaim of Baghdad. Later on in his life, in 1990, Rabbi Kaduri met with a famous rabbi named Menachem Mendel Schneerson. He was known as the Rebbe of Lubavitch. And while they were together, many words of blessing were spoken to Rabbi Kaduri. And among those words spoken by the Lubavitcher Rebbe was the blessing that Kaduri would not pass from this world until he met the Messiah. Now about 13 years later, Rabbi Kaduri would indeed have a mystical vision. It was reported that in his vision, Kaduri spoke with the Messiah. And during this encounter, the Messiah revealed his name to Kaduri. Kaduri later noted to his disciples that the revealed name of the Messiah was hidden among his writings. Rabbi Kaduri died on January 26, 2006, at the age of 108. Then Kaduri's disciples came across a note written by Kaduri in which was encrypted the name of the Messiah. This note contained instructions, saying that it was not to be opened until a year after Kaduri's passing. His funeral procession was one of the largest in attendance in modern-day Israel. During his life, thousands of people came and visited him to seek advice, consecrate amulets, or ask for blessings and healings of various diseases. His disciples even told of miracles. As a result, in his old age, he was increasingly asked about political topics. In fact, Kaduri was regarded as a prophet by his followers because he could also predict some events in the future. Now, a year after Kaduri passed away, his disciples opened the note and discovered the name that the Messiah had revealed to Kaduri. That name was Yehoshua, the Hebrew form of the Aramaic word Yeshua, or Jesus.